Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about leg ulcers and specifically venous leg ulcers. So a leg ulcer is an open sore that really doesn't want to heal, that is somewhere between the ankle and the calf, sometimes down onto the foot, but usually around the ankle or just above the ankle. There are other causes apart from veins. About 10% of the causes can be things like arteries or diabetes, and we're not going to touch on to those. If you have a venous leg ulcer, it's usually been there for quite some time. You may know that you've got it because you've had varicose veins in the past and they haven't been treated, or they were treated with the old stripping technique, which didn't work very well. And also you're probably being treated by compression, a dressing around the legs with nurses, which sometimes helps improve it temporarily. But when you stop the dressing, it comes straight back again. Now, those venous leg ulcers can be caused by damage to the deep veins from previous deep vein thrombosis. But research shows that actually the majority are just due to varicose veins or hidden varicose veins that just either haven't been treated or haven't been treated properly. The good news for you is if you're walking and can wiggle your ankle and you have one of those sorts of leg ulcers and about 50% of people have, then you're perfectly curable if you have a venous duplex ultrasound scan to find the veins that are not working properly and the new local anaesthetic endovenous surgery. Is this just a my opinion? No. There's two randomised controlled studies that prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. The first one, called the Eschgar study in 2007, randomised people with venous leg ulcers to either having surgery or having just compression. The people who had surgery found that once the ulcers had healed, they were much, much less likely to come back in the future than those who had compression, which then got them back again as soon as the compression was taken off. So we know surgery is better than compression for venous leg ulcers, provided you can walk and your ankle is moving. The second study in 2018 was called the Evra study. And what that one showed is if you've got a venous leg ulcer and you start bandaging it or binding it, or you go for endovenous surgery, those patients who have the endovenous surgery heal quicker. So nowadays it's very clear if you have a venous leg ulcer, in other words, most leg ulcers, and you also can walk and your ankle is moving well, then with a duplex ultrasound scan of your veins to find the varicose veins or hidden varicose veins, and then treatment under local anaesthetic, you've got a very high chance of a cure that is going to last longer and keep you cured than any bandaging or compression technique.